Hi, I'm Steve Farrell, Senior Vice President of Technical Services with Aviation and Marketing International. Today we're going to discuss proper preservation of an engine after it's removed from an aircraft. But prior to that, I'd like to talk about these 731s here I have in front of me. These engines here, like this particular model, the 731-3, was produced in the 1970s. These engines have been produced out of production since 1972 and they're still pumping them out of the factory. So there's quite a few engines that have been flying around. There's over 13,000 worldwide flying right now. This particular engine goes on many different models of aircraft, you know, so when an aircraft hits its useful life, this engine could possibly go on another aircraft and continue to fly on for many, many years. This engine here is a 731-5BR, which powers several other type aircraft, such as a Hawker 800 XP, such as a Falcon 900B, and uh, these engines were started manufactured in 1980. These two, two engines that we just discussed were what Honeywell calls classic engines. Okay. The newer engines, such as this engine right here, the 731-20, is what we call a next generation engine. These engines here, you know, power the Lear 45, 40 aircraft, and the engines were started to be produced in the 2000s. You know. Lastly, we have a 731-50 engine. This particular engine was started to be produced in 2006. And these engines, you know, there's many still flying around. There's not too many on the marketplace, but AMI has them here available for what you need. Many of these engines, when the aircraft runs out of its useful life, the engines come off and need to be properly preserved. That's one of the things we're gonna show you today when, to make sure it's, it's done properly. Here's one of our preservation kits that we, uh, are, is commercially available out on the market for procurement. And inside the kit comes all the required parts that you need, the barrier material, the, the desiccant, and your humidity indicators. These indicators are real important because these are what you're gonna need to inspect your engine every 30 days that it's, while it sits in a box so it maintains it's still serviceable. Once we have our 731 engine placed into the barrier bag, you know, the engine will have already been drained of all, of all its oil, fuel system preserved, and all the caps and plugs done. At that point now, we were gonna install our humidity indicator on the outside of the bag. This is the humidity indicator that we talked about earlier in regards to need to be inspected every 30 days for once the engine is sealed in the bag. What this indicator does is checks to make sure that there's no moisture buildup on the inside the bag while the engine is in preservation state. Our next step is to install these desiccant bags which helps reduce the moisture on the engine while it's being in preservation state. Then we're going to take the barrier bag and close up the engine. And this outer bag, this is the bag that we're going to seal the engine with to keep it preserved for a period up to two years. At this point, we're going to install close spins to help the sealing of the bag to make sure there's no escape of uh, air going in, into or out of the bag while it's preserved. We are now going to seal the bag. The sealer is commercially available. Once the bag is sealed and we have verified that there's no openings, we need to cut a hole in the edge of the bag to insert the vacuum.
At this point, we're going to install the vacuum in the bag to excavate the air out as much as possible so the bag is snug against the engine. Lastly, we're going to seal the opening of the bag to prevent any air from escaping. We're verifying that the bag is snugly against the engine and your humidity indicator is clearly in view to provide that inspection. Now that this engine has been properly preserved in a bag, as long as you inspect this indicator every 30 days, it can stay in this state for up to two years. At or before two years of preservation, the engine will have to be removed from the box and placed on an aircraft and returned to service, or put on a test cell and run for 10 minutes and re-preserved for it to last another two years. This was the proper way to preserve a 731 engine and place it into a storage shipping container. If you have any questions in regards to this, please feel free to give us a call at Aviation and Marketing International at 281-359-3266 or check out our website, TurbineEngine.com. Thank you. And now we close the box.